are you wondering if the new iPhone 16e will also have 120Hz display? So actually I have some very bad news. Unlike the highest end iPhone 16 Pro which has 120Hz on the 16e and the regular 16 we actually do not have the 120Hz and basically we get the same 60Hz display uh, on the 16e that uh, basically the 16 has. So again, uh, considering that this uh, iPhone 16e in Europe will cost 700 euros, I think it's completely ridiculous. Also, another huge downgrade is actually the peak brightness and also the display quality. So as you see on the iPhone 16, we get 2000 nits peak brightness. But again, on the 16e, it's like almost two times less. So again, in a very sunny weather, actually, you will have troubles actually seeing on the screen uh, compared to like the 16 or the 16 Pro. And again, there is only like 100 euro difference where I am. Also, um, essentially, if you want to see what else has been downgraded between the 16 and 16a, e, I also have made like a quick basically a chart over here if you want to pause the video. So again for the price difference this cost I think the 16e makes no sense whatsoever and I do, do not think you should actually purchase this unless you can get maybe this phone for like maybe like 450 or 500 dollars or euros. If it drops to that price maybe yeah okay but at this price it costs I think it's complete scam. Yeah anyway sorry for the bad news. Good luck.